Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo laptop. This particular one is a Lenovo IdeaPad 320 and in this video I'm going to take you through how to uh, open it up and how to replace the battery if your battery is not holding up any more charge and if it's draining too quickly and this video is going to help you guys how to open it up and how to replace the battery. This particular one is an IdeaPad 320-14 IAP or the other base number which is ADXQ. But this video applies for any IdeaPad 320 series so don't worry about if yours has a little bit of different model number. Alright, the tools that you're going to be needing is first thing the most important one is an opening tool. I use this iFixit tool set. It's one of the best tools that I ever used. They have all the bits that you need and it will last you a very long time, unlike the other brands. From this set, we're going to be using Philips number zero. So grab Philips number zero right there. And the next main tool is an uh, opening tool. You can grab an, a, a pro version of this tool set, which includes your uh, opening tool and pliers and few other stuff but i'm going to be using for this video a guitar pick a metallic one what you want to do first you want to flip over the laptop and we're going to start removing all the screws at the bottom cover so start from one corner and remove all the screws remember all the screws are they are all the same size and height so don't worry about mismatching these screws as they can go anywhere and mismatch them if you want to A few percent of my viewers are subscribing to my channel and I really appreciate it if you guys find my videos useful and helping you guys out. Please click that, that thumbs up button and think about subscribing. It really helps and motivates me to make more videos for you guys and take requests. Alright, and the last two screws will be on the middle. So go ahead and remove these two screws. All right. Once you remove all the screws, go ahead. We're gonna remove the DVD ROM. This is a caddy. This version doesn't have yours. Might have be an actual DVD ROM here. Next, you wanna open up the laptop a little bit, 45 degree angle. You wanna grab the opening tool or the guitar pick, and you wanna stick it between the top and the bottom cover, just like that, about two or three millimeters inward. And now you wanna do just rotate, just Wiggle it around and you want to hear some clicks and you want to hear that gap opening right there. Those are the clips that are getting loose. And you want to do this all the way to the one side, go all the way to the back end corners. Make sure you do this side by the US by the DVD ROM. Lift up all. Now you want to close it down. And then you want to wiggle it around, lift up that bottom cover and push it towards the back a little bit and because there's a little tiny scoop that they have in here you have to push it that way a little bit all right once you have the bottom cover up the battery is going to be right in front of you guys the model name for this battery is an l16 m 2 pb one that's the battery model the battery is held down by three screws beside the screw that holds it from the bottom cover which goes here here and yeah, these tools right here. There's three more screws, which is right there, right there by the jack, and all the way to the other side. Go ahead and remove these three screws. Again, with the same screw bit, Phillips number zero. This is number one, I believe. What was it? Number zero. Phillips number zero. The screws are all the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching these ones neither. So grab the battery, lift it up. So you have more room to pull the jack backwards. So just grab the cables and slide it towards the front of the laptop. And there you go. And the jack will come out loose. Again, this is the battery. I'll leave the link in the description for the new battery if I find a seller. Let's say, and there's a BIOS battery right here. If your, your date and times are not keeping in the BIOS, you might want to replace this battery. 
there's a one jack and a tiny battery but this one should last you about eight nine years so don't worry about that one that keeps the bios configuration let's say that you have the new battery you want to plug it in first bring it bring the jack all the way right there and you want to push it towards the main jack right there make sure it's all the way in. just align the battery right over there and grab the three screws that you removed and place it in there also i'm just going to give you guys a tip the way the correct way to use the batteries the initial charge and this charge for the battery is very very important so what you want to do and you just can't what you want to do first you don't want to power on the laptop you want to leave it off and you want to connect it while it's off and let it sit there to charge up because they come with 60 or 70 percent charge let it charge up for two or three hours then you want to disconnect the battery and you want to power on the laptop using the battery only so the battery can drain all the way down to zero or ten percent once it goes down to zero ten percent power it off plug in the charger and let it charge again for four to five hours while it's powered off then you can power it on and use it as you wish those are really important steps to do with any new batteries and the next step would be grab the bottom cover push it on top and push the corners by the hinges first make sure you hit those clicks and push the sides push the front side all the way down and the last thing is put the dvd rom cover right there or your dvd optic drive and place the bottom screws and that should be all i really hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to replace your battery if it did you know what to do click that thumbs up button and if you have any questions or requests leave them in the comment area i'll try to get back to you guys as soon as i can and thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video i'm just gonna finish up putting the bottom screws There we go.